Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining me today. I'm really excited to do a fun video uh, about things I have not bought or used as a minimalist mama. If you're new to my channel, my name is Tumi. I'm a medical doctor, I'm a dancer and a poet, and I'm passionate about holistic health and supporting people and living their best lives. I make videos on uh, veganism and raw veganism, plant-based living, minimalism, uh, holistic health tips in general, all infused with dance. If any of that is of interest to you, then consider subscribing down below. So in this video, I'm going to share with you 10 uh, things, childcare, baby items that I have not bought or own and happy not to have. And I decided to make this video because I remember when we were expecting our little one, we were thinking, what do we need? And we've been practicing voluntary simplicity for years. And it's something that has been a huge part of my um, health journey. I write about that in my book, Delicious Healing. I'll leave a link to that book below. And minimalism is freeing for me. It's not restrictive. It's uh, a vehicle of creativity and simplicity, more freedom on so many levels. And so why not extend that to mothering? And so we did, and I did. And these are 10 items that are super common that we have not bought and do not own and are happy about it. I wanna say before starting this list that it's a journey for everyone. And none of these items are items that I think you should not get. I believe in all of us just questioning what we think that we need and asking, does it serve me? Does it serve my greatest health, my greatest happiness, my family and my child's greatest health, well-being and happiness? With that, let's begin this, the list. Number one, thank you, sweetheart. I just got gifted a little flower from Sky. Disposable diapers and wipes. So we don't use or buy disposable diapers or wipes. We have been using cloth diapers and wipes from the get-go and are really happy about that because it's just a lighter footprint on the earth and kinder to the environment. So um, that's been very easy to do and it's been easy to do I think also in conjunction with our practice of elimination communication and I have a whole video on this channel around elimination communication that you can check out and I'll leave that in the description box below and that has made for much less poopy diapers and so we're not doing so many uh, washes with the diapers. Number two, crib. We did not buy a crib, we co-sleep and so we all have, we all, all are sleeping in one bed together and so we never purchased a crib, have not needed it, happy without it. And so I just want to, again, say with this list, this is not about what you shouldn't get. This is just to free up your idea of what is possible and things you may not think you need. Thank you, Sky. Thank you, love. Your sugar cane. Do you want it back? You can play with it more. Thanks, love. Number three, and this is kind of in conjunction with the crib idea, no baby monitors. So because Sky sleeps with us, um, he's not in a different room when we're sleeping at night. And so there's no need to monitor. There's some beautiful um, scientific evidence actually around self-regulation of heart rate and breathing. So your baby sleeping next to you in bed can also regulate their breathing and um, calm down their breathing as they hear you sleep. So I haven't needed, had any need to monitor his heart rate, his breathing or lack thereof uh, because he's not in a different room than me. Also during the daytime, um, he naps in the bedroom and sometimes I'm with him, but sometimes I'm not. And with time, there's just a trust that he's okay. Our bed is on the floor, it's grounded. And so there's no fear of him rolling off. So no baby monitor. And that has worked out brilliantly. Number four, no pacifiers. Um, pacifiers are a, a, a way to help the baby sometimes soothe, but we have felt that there's been no need for that. And one of the things that concerns me as a physician and as a mama around pacifiers is there has been studies that show um, a link between pacifier use and otitis media or middle ear infections. So no need for that. Pacifiers also is actually a link to 
pacifiers um, causing issues with teeth, with teeth, the, the alignment of the teeth. And we found that Sky over time has naturally, has natural self-soothing techniques that he has with no need of pacifier. I've also found, I'll just share that with things like baby wearing, um, listening to his cues, watching and just communicating with him empathically, I haven't felt the need, his haven't picked up a need from him of needing other self-soothing uh, tools. Five, breast pumps and um, milk bottles. So no need and we have not bought any breast pumps or milk bottles. So breast pumps, I think are an incredible device for women who are working outside of the home and or in the home and are needing to produce their milk or express their milk and have it available for use when they're not around. I have not had the need for that. I'm thankful to say my breast milk has been abundant from day one and has continued to be even as Sky is now almost 13 months old and he's getting over 90% of his calories from my breast milk still. I do think that breastfeeding him on demand, as I have done, has helped with breast milk supply, but my diet has also. And you can check out my uh, what I eat in a day as a raw vegan breastfeeding mama. I do believe a whole foods, plant foods diet has helped extraordinarily in helping a healthy milk supply. So no breast pump needed and no bottles because he just gets the breast milk directly from me. Again, every woman is different and I honor everybody's path. This is just a list to again support people in knowing what is possible and to know that not everything that is essential necessarily is. Question, question. Number six, a changing table never bought a changing table. We do all the diaper changes on the bed. We put down a cloth that is waterproof and then another blanket or, or um, cloth over that. That's what we did when he was little. And now very little need for any many cloths at all, but we just do the changes of diapers on the bed um, or on our floor sofa if needed. Number seven, a stroller have not bought a stroller, have not needed it. We prefer baby carrying um, or child carry, carrying. And we have had an ergo, which we used after Sky was about three months old. And before that, we were using um, a wrap, just a cloth wrap. And we've loved baby carrying. Again, I actually really think that baby carrying is so helpful for um, parent-child bonding and I do think it helped Sky with his posture and his back strength. Um, he was walking on his 10-month birthday and crawling by six months so I think his progression in terms of motor skills was definitely helped by baby carrying. So no need for stroller, um, we do baby carrying instead. Number eight is a baby swing, uh, baby walker situation, baby jumper. Those lovely little contraptions you see hanging from people's homes or or with wheels that babe that are used to help with baby's motor skills again as i just mentioned we haven't had any need for those things and he was walking crawling very early i think everyone is different and every journey is perfectly fine um but he moved progressively very quickly in his motor skills without the need for these things. Um, and I think part of that is he just would be outside and we would be with him and he's exploring as he still does. Um, and we're just with him, encouraging and watching and, and guiding him if need be. So no need for us for that jumper, walker, swinger situation baby carrying and then just letting him roam with guidance as needed. Number nine, baby food. <laughs> uh, we did not buy any packaged um, baby foods. I love to provide his baby food through my breast milk. Um, we were doing that 100% until about, I think seven months is when he started expressing interest for other foods. And so he started having a little bit of watermelon and then some mango and some avocado. And so now he eats those foods as well as breast milk still. Um, that's his baby food. We do not buy any baby food. And number 10, 
toys. So we have not bought any toys. Now we have been gifted one or two toys. Um, but as you saw, as you might see now, <laughs> toys are, our favorite toy is sky being in nature and just exploring. We talk about the plants, baby, don't we talk about plants and how they're also living and how we like to help them stay living. Um, we talk about gentle touch so that we're not uprooting plants, but we love that nature is the ultimate playground. Um, Mama nature is where Sky gets to explore and observe and feel different textures and see different colors. Children at this age, their biggest way of learning is through their senses. And so he's touching and smelling and um, uh, very much tasting and definitely seeing with his eyes all the different beautiful things Mother Nature has to offer. And so we get outside with him. It's a beautiful way for us to get outside also. And we go on walks and he touches the bark of the pine tree and he um, leads us and shows us and opens our eyes more into mama nature. Thank you, love. How does that taste? So no toys needed. This is his favorite toy right now. One of his favorite toys, a sugar cane that we were gifted at the farmer's market. And it's his stick, um, his taster. Uh, it's beautiful. And so no toys, but again, with this whole list, I just want to say, do you and let your child do him or her or they and go by what is exciting. But all of this is to, to give and offer greater freedom around um, essentials. What is essential is what speaks to you. Um, so that's the list and I hope it's a benefit to you. I'd love to hear from you, maybe something that is considered a common or essential baby child item that you didn't buy and you're happy about it and your child didn't really need. Leave that in the comments below and let me know if you're interested in me doing a list on just essentials that I don't use as a, as a woman, as a, as a person, um, the 10 things that I don't buy or the 50 things I don't buy. Um, and again, if you're interested in my book on delicious healing, check that out the link below. Um, and I will just leave also in the description box below some of the items we do use and you can check that out if you would like. I hope this video was fun and of support to you. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you like, share it with anyone you think might benefit. And we send you so much love wherever you are in the world. Take care.